So today we are actually going to see the DC GAN. What is DC GAN? It is deep convolutional GAN. Okay. So actually we are just going to apply it in the images. So let's see. So today, uh, like uh, in the last video, we have talked about it. And uh, if you haven't seen this video, then I will recommend you to go on the YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. You have to just go and watch the video. Okay. And uh, here you can see it. Like uh, here is the video. You can see here uh, uh, what is DC GAN. So you can access this video. Okay. So this is one of the interesting video you can get. So, okay. Uh, so now we are just going to do the analysis. So let's come. So what is the analysis? Like, uh, uh, let's see this picture. Why this picture is there? So you can see like on the epoch one, the, this is the this is generated. Then epoch uh, 10, this is generated. And after that, you can see that uh, it is getting more clear and clear. So after uh, increasing the epoch, it is getting better. So uh, that is the simple thing. But what is the epoch? So uh, like, you know, like you have to learn some th terms time to time. Uh, it should be in your mind so that uh, uh, you, you don't miss the actual uh, what it is going to say. Okay. Here. So uh, one complete pass of the tra training data set through the algorithm is called the epoch. That is the simplest definition. Okay. So now one thing I want to show you. Just see this thing. Like uh, this is this is generator loss. Uh, like the loss is loss of generator is increasing. Okay, and this is the generator accuracy that is decreasing. And you can see here, like uh, this is the generator. Uh, sorry, discriminator loss that is decreasing, and uh, the generator. Uh, sorry, a discriminator accuracy is increasing. Okay, so so it is too many confusion. But you have to tell me uh, that why why generator loss is actually increasing. Okay, so uh, I'll be telling you in some time, not to worry. So, you can see uh, this picture. After that, it is somewhat miraculous to see that neural networks are able to convert the random noise to the something meaningful. That is important, guys. Like converting the, converting the random noise to something meaningful, that is the most important thing. And it have actually learned the raw pixels how to draw the shadows, cuboid, circles entirely by itself. So that is the amazing thing about it. So, uh, like uh, you can you can just see one interesting image. Uh, like how these images, like this is the generated image and this is the real image, okay. So how these images are uh, looking similar. So DC GAN has the capability to generate the similar images. You know, like, if you generate same type of image, like you uh, you took uh, your image and your girlfriend image and something like that, then you have just generated the same, then there is a no meaning, okay. So, uh, but just think that uh, if you have uh, take uh, two couple pictures and uh, just generate the child picture. So it will be interesting and there are a lot of apps doing that, okay. So <laughs> that is interesting, singles are, uh, uh, thinking about themselves, but okay, <laughs> okay, so fine. So this is the thing uh, that is actually telling about the how the similar images it can generate, but it is unique image. That is the important thing, guys. If we can generate the unique images, then that is the milestone achieved. Okay. So let's see. You know, like there are a lot of tips and tricks uh, we should know uh, to do code and all these things because the code is the important thing. We are we are learning the theory parts now, but uh, but in the next video we'll be doing the code also. So uh, for that we need to have some focus that uh, um, some tips and tricks are important. Okay, fine. So let's go. So we are just going to see the co most common problems that what the problems we'll be encountering and how to solve them. Okay, fine. Okay, so there are uh, two, three problems. Like if the discriminator becomes too strong, the loss function becomes too weak. Okay, so like signal, you know, like discriminator, if the discriminator is too much strong, just think what will happen. It will, it will, it will discriminate uh, in between the uh, real images and uh, fake images, like predicted images. So every time it will just detect that, then the generator will not able to modify itself. Okay. 
So that is the thing guys and uh, you can see in the worst case scenario in the worst case scenario um, this discriminator perfectly learns to separate the real images from the fake images and the gradients vanish completely leading no training whatsoever. So that is the important guys like there will be no training then um, we will not getting the good images okay fine. So this is the image. This is the image of uh, um, discriminator. Okay. So example input when the discriminator overpowers the generator. Okay. So uh, let's. Uh, so I am not getting that. Uh, why this? Why this is happening? What? What this? This thing is uh, telling us. So what I am just going to do? I am just going to copy it. Okay, guys. I am just going to copy it. Uh, save it. Okay. And I am just going to put on the chat GPT. Yes, guys. So this you should use chat GPT that is that is that is important guys because you need uh, your your efficiency will be increased efficiency and productivity both. So now explain me uh, explain me what's going on. So it will be explaining us that what is actually going on in this picture. Okay, so it is telling that this uh, like uh, uh, when the discriminator is too powerful compared to the generator, this imbalances the results in poor quality generated image. You can see how much poor the quality of images are. The lot of noises are there. There will not not much training. You can see here one epoch, two epoch, and three epoch. Okay, so uh, that is the thing, guys. Uh, now, like you can you can ask more questions to Chat GPT, and like it, it is saying that to achieve the high quality generated image in the GANs, it is essential, essential to balance the power between generator discriminator. Okay, so um, this is the thing, guys. And uh, now uh, you can see here, uh, like try the following suggestions. You know, we have to uh, see some suggestions. Like this was the problem that okay. Uh, when the when the discriminator will be the powerful, then what we will do? So this is the this is going to be solution. So we will be increasing the rate parameter of the dropout layers. Okay. So what will happen? Like uh, when we will uh, increase the rate of the parameters of the dropout layers, then it will actually drop out the things, dampen the things, important information. Okay. Then reduce the learning rate because. If you will reduce the learning rate, then it will be learning very slowly. Okay. So it will be not able to discriminate much. Reduce the number of the convolutional filters, add noise to the labels, flip the labels and all these things. Okay. So you can see it. Now, now what will happen? Generator overpowers the discriminator guys. So like it is, it is, it is, it is quite uh, uh, tough to see that uh, Generator overpowers the discriminator, and now this is called the mode collapse. You know what happens in this thing? So uh, let's uh, see from this image. I'm just going to put this image in the chat GPT, and okay, I'm just going to put all these things. Okay, and let's see what it will say to us. Explain clearly. Yeah. Now you can see, like when, 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 when generator is too much powerful, then what will happen? It will actually, actually produce the very similar image. Just see that how much similar images are. Like these are all our images are similar. Okay. So this is the problem, guys. And uh, you can see, like mode collapse is also called, like limited type of images, and it will be generating again and again the limited type of images that is the symbol guys fine so i have asked you a question before that uh, what this picture is showing okay i'm just going to uh, move that picture okay yeah why the generator loss is actually increasing why so 
so let's first let's let's ask with the chat gpt why the generator loss increases whereas discriminator loss decreases okay let's see in the short answer you can see that generator loss increase and the discriminator loss decreases when the discriminator become better at distinguishing okay 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 fine so it is not giving the uh, very good answer but uh, we will be see that what is the good answer and this is here uninformative loss okay so like there is a smaller the loss function of the generator the better the quality of the images you know like if the loss function will uh, decrease then uh, this is good sign na ki loss your loss is actually decreasing so it should uh, produce some better images but 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 it it happens opposite actually discriminator is constantly improving so that it is not so that it is that much able to identify that okay this is fake and this is um, real okay so it is it is somewhat opposite the discriminator is able to um, constantly see that okay this is the fake and this is the real one so that it is actually doing the same thing but the things are opposite guys okay so loss function of the generator actually increases over the time even the quality of the image are clearly improving so this is the lack of correlation in the generator loss and the image quality and sometimes make the gan training difficult to monitor yes that you will seeing that okay this is increasing so it is tough for us so that is the thing guys and this was all but uh, uh, let's see um, hyperparameters as we see that even with the simple gans there are large number of hyperparameters to tune yeah so as well as over overall architecture of the board discriminator and generator there are a lot of parameters such as batch normalization just focus on this guys batch batch normalization dropout uh, is there then learning rate activation layer convolution layer kernel size striding batch size latent space size to consider okay so guys i will recommend you that if you don't know any of these terms and please just copy it okay i'm just going to copy it okay just copy it from here and tell it to explain a one by one like explain one by one okay so it will be explaining you everything and that is important to know that what is the batch normalization what is the dropout layer what is learning rate so all these things i hope you know it if you don't know it's okay just go and see okay fine gans are the high sensitive to very slight changes of any of these parameters and finding a set of parameters that work is often a case of educated trial and error okay so this is something like that uh, trial and error method so we'll be seeing this is why it is important to understand the inner working of the gan and know how to interpret the loss function so what we'll be doing we'll be actually seeing that what what is going uh, going inside the gan okay then um, so that we can identify the sensible adjustment to hyperparameters and that can might improve the stability of model fine in the recent years several key advancements are drastically improved the overall capability of the gan models and diminish the likelihood of some of the problem listed earlier like the mode collapse okay so in the remainder uh in this chap of this chapter we shall examine that wesser steen you can read it okay <laughs> gan with gradient penalty w gan uh, dot um, dash gp which makes the several key adjustment to the gan framework and we have explored thus far to improve the stability and quality of images so guys in the next video we will be seeing the wg w gan gp okay so we'll be seeing that i hope that you are excited for the next lecture we'll be coming with that soon so uh, till that keep exploring keep learning this uh, these things and there is a one quiz uh, pinned in the comments just go and uh, uh, just try that and write in the comments and whoever will do the right then i will be calling their names in the next video okay guys thank you so much